All right, let's continue our study of predicting products, this time for single replacement reactions. And once again, this cartoon should help us along the way. So notice what we have here. This is a guy who's by himself. We'll just call him guy A. And we also have a couple, couple B, C. What's happening here is this guy is tapping the shoulder of this guy, and then ultimately, this guy that was involved with the compound or involved with the couple is now by himself. And the individual that was by himself is now involved in a compound or is now involved in a relationship. So what we have is one thing, usually by itself, is replacing another thing. And that other thing is um, typically a compound that's in solution. Look how sad this guy looks. He's looking down at his toes. All right, so we have aluminum plus silver nitrate. Now, there's three types of single replacement reactions you'll be responsible for memorizing. First, a more active metal, or hydrogen, will replace a less active metal from a solution. Now, we've already learned what solutions are. Once again, those are when solids are dissolved in a liquid and the phase is aqueous. So a more active metal replaces a less active metal from the solution. Secondly, lithium, potassium, calcium, or sodium will replace hydrogen from water. And lastly, a more active halogen will replace a less active halogen from solution. So which of the three are we dealing with here? Do we have lithium, potassium, calcium, or sodium? No. Do we have any halogens? Remember, the halogens are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. No, we don't have any halogens, but we do have a metal. We have aluminum and silver. So it looks like we're dealing with this first example, which reads again, a more active metal will replace a less active metal. So how do we know what's more active, aluminum or silver? Well, on the back of your periodic table, you'll find an activity series. So let's find both aluminum and silver. So what we want to do is we want to look at the element that's by itself. In this case, that's aluminum, because silver nitrate is in solution. So silver will be dissolved. Silver nitrate will be aqueous. And a more active metal, like aluminum, will replace a less active metal that's in solution. So let's check. The metals on the left are the most reactive. The metals on the right are the least reactive. So it looks like aluminum is more reactive than silver. So aluminum will come in and take the place of silver. So instead of silver nitrate, we'll have aluminum nitrate. And remember that cartoon? What happened to the guy that was involved um, with the relationship? In this case, that would be silver. Well, he gets bumped out, and now he's by himself. So, of course, the next step would be to write the formulas. Now, for these single replacement reactions, we're going to include phase notation. So, the phase notation here, of course, will make more sense after we actually carry out some of these reactions in the lab. Um, but aluminum is going to be a solid. Remember that the silver nitrate will be taking place in solution, so its phase notation will be aqueous. Aluminum nitrate will be in solution, and this will be elemental silver. You'll see it appear at the bottom of the beaker as a solid. And then, of course, our last step would be to balance. So notice that we have three nitrates on the right, so we're going to make three nitrates on the left. That made three silvers on the left, so of course we need three silvers on the right. All right, and this reaction is complete.